everybody, here's what you personally should learn in French because it pertains to your own life. In case you don't know me, my name is Rochelle DeMeo and I'm your native French instructor at Beltier Academy. to learn in French because it's the most useful is simply the most commonly used phrases. Actually more than 80% of everyday language consists of only about a thousand words. So by learning useful phrases that are used every day and in the order in which they're the most used, that's going to be the easiest for you to dive into the French language. But of course, that's kind of general. So let's talk about more about you. What do you need to learn that you can even research and learn by yourself? There's actually three things that pertain to your own life. The first thing is anything to do with your family life, family situation. So being able to express how many siblings you have, your parents, your children, a spouse or a boyfriend, girlfriend, or being single, all those kind of different words you need to learn and look up. So I do recommend having a dictionary handy. This is the one I'm personally recommending. I'm linking it below in case you'd like to get it for yourself. There are also a couple online dictionaries that you can use such as Word Reference or Lingy that are very useful to, again, look up words that pertain to you. So look up these words. So let's say you're single. You're thinking, how do I say that? Because that's one of the things that's going to come up in conversation. So you'd look up in the dictionary, okay, ah, célibataire. Je suis célibataire, par exemple. Um, I'm not single, actually, but um, so that's the thing that you'd look up. Or, hey, I have two kids. I actually do. J'ai deux enfants. So you're looking up how to say that by using a dictionary, and then to learn it, you can use an alphabetical notebook like the one right here, which simply, once you've looked up a word, like the word children, which I looked up when I went to Portugal, crianças, sorry for my accent, but um, then you would write it in this alphabetical notebook and then the translation. So that's how you would learn it. So that first thing pertaining to your life would be your family situation, questions that you may have with somebody that speaks French. Second thing is anything relating to your job. So if you're an engineer, how would you say that? Oh, ingénieur. If you're a teacher, how would you say that? Look that up. Everything that pertains to your job, whether it's things that you do for your job or your actual title, so to speak, you want to look up because that will come in conversation when somebody says, et euh, vous, qu'est-ce que vous faites dans la vie? Or, et toi, qu'est-ce que tu fais dans la vie? What do you do in life? C'est quoi ton métier? What's your job? So you want to learn that. And the third thing pertaining to you personally is going to be anything that has to do with your hobbies. What do you do outside of work? What's your jam? So look up those words. For instance, I play piano, so I might look it up. That was the easy one. Piano. Um, or possibly that you like to read or you like to play tennis. So anything that has to do with a hobby or passion that you have, you would want to look up and again, you jot it down in the alphabetical notebook so that you can learn it. Why are those things important? You may have already guessed it. It's clearly because those are the things that will come up in conversation as you're talking to French natives or learners of the French language, beautiful native language that I have, right? Well, um, as you're communicating, those are the things that will come up in everyday conversation. So learn things that pertain to you and that's so easy to do. The third thing are the most used verbs. Again, most of the verbs in the French language, not just the third, three most commonly used verbs, which are être, avoir, and faire, but the 48, I think there's 48 that are used on pretty much of a daily basis. So why not focus in learning these verbs in the order in which they are used? My students at Beltier Academy, I provide them with a handout and all these different resources so that they can memorize these verbs in the order that they're used. So again, what are verbs? They're just actions. So as you're expressing actions that you are doing or that others are doing, you learn these actions in the most common way that they're used every day. So learn those little by little in different tenses, even if you don't know all these tenses in French yet, it doesn't matter. If you know personal pronouns, you know, can express who is doing the action and the actual action. 
people can figure out what you're trying to say. And then little by little, learn the most commonly used tenses and so forth and with those verbs. And then finally, you probably guessed it, is learning the words that are most commonly used in the French language. So we talked about using the phrases. So phrases are, you know, just those little chunk of words like, hey, on y va? We say that all the time. Hey, let's go, on y va? So you'd want to learn those. You'd want to learn words that pertain to your life with those three things that I listed. And then any kind of verbs, actions that are most commonly used, and then the phrases. If you do it kind of in that order, you will quickly learn French, but especially you won't feel frustrated in communicating because you'll be talking about things that are relevant to your life. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I have a last tip for you, but make sure you subscribe before I provide this last tip. The last tip that I have is to memorize these it's good that you know your learning style. I have a video that talks a lot about learning styles and how I implement them when I teach my students. However, knowing your learning style will help you learn how to best learn them, review them, and study them. A simple app that's free called Quizlet will also help you find, for instance, the verb faire and memorize it. Or if you don't find that actually that Quizlet, which is like index cards online, there's an app for it, you can create it. So that's a great way to memorize. Could you commit to five, 10 minutes a day of doing this? What I want you to do is you are going to commit to doing what I just mentioned and learning these things pertaining to your life, write your name below, put whatever want you want, like I'm committing, or you can say in French, but um, commit by putting in the comments below and in about two to three months, I want you to come back and in the comments tell me how far you got because I've seen the difference with students that do these things and how fluent they become and how quickly they learn the language versus those who don't. So put your name in the comments below, say I'm committing Rochelle and I will see you on Friday for our epic French Friday episode. A bientôt les amis!